Okay, let's talk about doing some Gigamon reporting. So just come over here and filter on Gigamon for my Gigamon device, or the, whatever name I gave it. And I can see all the interfaces on my Gigamon uh, appliance, or I can just run reports. You can see that you can definitely run all of the default reports and scrutinizer that apply to the um, details being exported into templates. You can see you get some layer 2 information, MAC address, uh, vendor information by MAC address, uh, top multicast destinations, really really good stuff. But the, what I want to focus on is the Gigamon reports because these are focusing on the enterprise elements that are specific to Gigamon that really separate them from the other NetFlow probes on the market. So uh, let's take a look at destination name and URL. So again, it depends on the templates and what you've chosen in the configuration of the Gigamon to export. But I can uh, export a portion of uh, a URL or all of the URL. I get usernames if we have integration with Microsoft Active Directory or Cisco ICE. All I have to do to filter is just grab that URL, drag it over here and say include or exclude. Watch this. I'll just put it over there and say apply. Now I'm only looking at the URLs um, applicable to Adobe. I can also edit the URL and say, look, I'm really just looking for the portion that's equal to that. So I'll delete the rest. And so now I'm going to possibly open up my results to just a little bit more than what I currently have, 67. Let's see if there's any more by uh, shortening that. Save it and 67 results. See if that goes up a little bit. Yeah, it did. So there's a lot more Adobe out there than we thought. Um, and then I can always change my report and say, okay, I'm looking for um, something else now. Maybe source and URL or maybe the return codes. Now remember, I still have that, uh, that filter over there, Adobe. So I'm going to delete that, apply it. See if I get any other return codes. Wow, I do. And what are all these 200s? You know, if I want, I can just drill down on that or maybe get rid of that zero return, uh, return code, apply that, and let's take a look at the results. Oh, wow, you know, I'm, maybe I'm interested in uh, the uh, 404. So I'll drill down on that and say, all right, give me uh, what you are out, uh, Gigamon is telling me about uh, this particular. Um, well, I'll pull that into my report. And you can see that um, these are the particular um, details that I can get about that, that error code. So if you want more information or additional reports, you can certainly design them or give us a call. We'll help you set them up. And that'll get you started with some Gigamon reporting.